Now let's see how we can write a new command. Now let's start writing for to do command. To do. And let's use this time instead of the interface, we are going to use the callable. I will give you the reason why we need to use the callable. If you see the callable interface requires a variable because it's a generic one so why we need to send it out every command line tool sends exit status which says success or failure depending on that the rest of the script or the decisions can be taken let's implement and the success is zero failure is Non zero value. So let's say let's create final values, final integer success is equal to zero. Failure is equal to one. Let's say like this and let's return success here at the same time. Right? System out. Saying that it has been printed from the to do command. Let's copy all the parameters which we learned as part of the hello command. We can create sub command. That's what which we are going to cover. Why we need a sub command? If we see GAT, the commands are GAT add, GAT delete, GAT remove. That's how it is going to be parent command and the sub command. So we are going to implement in the same sequence. Let's create a main method. So while calling it here, we are returning a success. So that means we need to capture it. So first of all, let's write a command line and execute with arguments. For now, let's go with that. And I would like to capture this as exit status. System dot exit of exit status. Whenever command is exiting out, we are saying the system that we are exiting with status. So with that way, the console would know whether the command is success or not. By default, it treats as a success. Let's run the command. It printed successfully and let's change the arguments. To do CLI header, usage, the parameters and the description and options as well. Let's create a sub command. Why we need a sub command? I will show you that means these subcommands also will be listed here. Let's create a subcommand called add. Okay, I'm giving the package name here as subcommands. Stop it. Sub dot add to do command. Let's implement the same style, which is implementing callable. Implement the all method for now i'm returning zero here success and let's write saying that it is coming from add and let's copy the same set of parameters Do we need to create here a main method? No, it is not required because this can't be triggered by itself. It will be triggered from the to do all the time. So we just now we don't need to implement main method over here. I created a to do command, but how does a to do command, which is a parent, would know about it? So for that, we need to add another parameter called sub commands. It takes a list of classes. So in our case, add to do a class. 
And along with that, let's change the label also. Hmm? Sub commands are a new line huh? and rerun the application. Now, as part of the help, we are expecting sub commands as well. Here it says sub commands are and add it has come. Is there any other way that we can use it? Yes. Now let's add alias, which we have not covered earlier. The aliases would give the same functionality. That means we can pass an array. We can add aliases as create and plus. Displayed as part of the to do? Yes, because the same functionality, the add to do functionality will be provided for all three commands. That means we can pass to do add, to do create, or to do plus. All would give the same result. Let's call the add help first. So I'm adding an additional parameter called add. So it the final command is to do add iPhone iPhone help. So it would be printing add. So if we see it, it is coming as to the sub command and the description and the list of the options. Right now we don't have any additional options over here, so that's reason it is coming. You can add as a footer, that means which we have not covered. That is a footer. Let's add a footer. Say this is developed by. By we we'll add it at the end. Of course, you need a new line. And you can provide the header also. Put a heading as copyright. Let's say copyright. Comma. A new line. Run on the to do because we added add the to do command. So if we said copyright has come and the information. So let's copy the same information to the sub command as well. So every place it will be the same can i add the sub commands to the sub commands yes you can add but in our case it is not required so we are going with this normal so now we need to capture a message so it will be a string message let's copy the command options so here in this case message iphone m or iphone iphone message and here i need this parameter without message i cannot add it so the description would be and param labels we don't need to maintain it let's keep it with the default ones but as i mentioned required is true so it will come and once it comes let's Print that message over here. And let's call it from here. So here what we are going to call add. And I'm passing message. This is a test. And let's rerun it. After rerunning the program, you will be seeing that the message has been read. Can the parameter take multiple inputs? If I need to add 10 commands at a time, do I need to repeat all 10 at a time or can I provide in a single shot? Yes, you can give. We can add as a messages. We can continuously adding messages, messages, messages. So in order to do that, we are going to get an array. So let's change the parameter to message as message array. Out and let's give this one as add command so we'll know from where it has it triggered. Let's add one more message. This is test two and one more test three. Now you see all three has come now. In case of the multiple parameters 
how does user know that he can pass multiple parameters? Let's see what help does. Help would be giving that information that the command can be passed multiple times. As part of the help, you see it here. The same message has been added again in the optional parameters. Now let's take another input, say create date, which will be it will date. Let's say created date and options say options names. Let's say there is no additional parameter. Let's say create date and it is not required. Description created date for the task or to do. And first, yes, so that means as we are considering multiple messages here, so all will be created on the same date. Let's run a help command. Let's see how it is going to come. Here it says you know, all the information. Here we don't have the short parameter. As it is in, it's been left empty. So here also it came as optional parameter and create date. Everything is coming as we expected. Now, in which format we need to provide? By default. The date command would be read that as yyy m m t d format. Let's see how it is going to be. And this would be 2021. Let's take today's date 0801. And here, as we are reading it, let's printing that one as well. And created it as created. Let's see then the command with a new set of parameters, message, and create it. We see it, it has been taken August 1st and 2021, which we have passed into it. As we are adding multiple messages at the same time, can I add the sub commands also in the same fashion? Like to do add message add some other message add third message yes we can do that one we just need to let the to do command know that these sub commands can be repeatable by default it is a false so let's say repeatable too and let's test it whether it really works or not so let's copy the same set of parameters one with it another one is without date. Let's say testing repeatable. For the first time, it has been created with the message, first message, which has the message and not the date. That's the reason date is null. And the next one is add message and it has along with the date, it has been printed. Now, as if we are not passing any of the create date, it is coming as null. We have not passed any parameters. That's the reason create date become null. So we can handle it. If the create date is null, we can set a default value. So we are pretty much created for the add. Let's create a list command. So for the list, let's copy paste the same add command and change as we need it. Now let's register list command. And change the parameters first. I would like to go with help. So L list 
and this parameter is help. Rerun the application. We got to do list all the information. Let's see how this is been printed along with the add command at to do, which means the parent command. We can use in case of the list, we can use as ls or show also. So let's try with show. Show help and it's supposed to show the help for the list to do command. Yes, if you see it, it is coming as a list to do subcommand itself. So that's how we are going to use the LASs.